this first photograph that we're going to review is of a woman with a PSP. And what you see is a somewhat anguished look on her face, a slight uh, opening of the eyes, uh, though on many patients with PSP there is more of an eye opening uh, or surprised look to their face. We're evaluating the saccades of an individual with PSP. There is mild slowing of horizontal saccades. However, in the vertical direction, there's significant slowing, and there's also vertical ophthalmoplegia in the up gaze direction. Look at my thumb again. My nose, thumb, nose, good. And my thumb, and my nose. Look up at the ceiling, and then look down at your lap. Good, and the ceiling. In the same woman with PSP, we're testing optokinetic nystagmus. In the horizontal directions, she follows the direction of the tape and makes small but impaired uh, fast corrective saccades. However, in the vertical direction, there is a gradual up gaze and down gaze with no fast corrective saccades. Here, while testing postural stability, she falls backwards with retropulsion, even without a tug on her shoulders, which would be the normal test for retropulsion. As is typical in PSP, there is more axial than appendicular rigidity, uh, which is shown here with resistance, especially to neck flexion and extension, out of proportion to what is seen when moving her arms. As has been mentioned, the bradykinesia of PSP is typically axial. However, in this clip, you see severe bradykinesia and hypokinesia of finger tapping movements uh, bilaterally, a little worse on the left side. This is also present for hand grasping motions on the left and right side. As well as with foot stomping, for both of his feet. And the left foot is almost impossible to lift. As is often seen in PSP, there's an uncontrolled descent or plopping or crashing down into a chair, though for safety reasons, he is helped back into his seat. As previously mentioned, the applause sign or the patient's response when they're trying to imitate three claps the examiner makes is quite prolonged in some individuals with PSP as a sign of perseveration and possibly inhibitory control. This gentleman continues to clap until he is stopped eventually. As is often seen in corticobasal syndrome, there is clenched fist dystonia with an associated irregular postural tremor. While more common in MSA, here we see an irregular kinetic tremor of both upper extremities, again associated with dystonia of the left hand. Here we see asymmetric bradykinesia as well as left hand dystonia, as is often seen in corticobasal syndrome. Here on an interlocking finger test, looking at praxis and spatial motor functions, this gentleman has difficulties orienting his hands and fingers in appropriate planes with each other, as well as imitating the posture of the examiner. As is typical for MSA, here on repeating buttercup and Methodist Episcopal, you hear a squeaky hypophonia and dysarthria. Buttercup, buttercup, buttercup. Mesual, Episcopal, mesual, Episcopal, Methodist Episcopal. As one of the cerebellar signs in MSA, here you see dysrhythmia of rapid alternating movements or supination pronation movements as opposed to simple bradykinesia that you may see in other disorders. Another cerebellar sign is overshoot or hypermetria on finger chase maneuver. Typically for cerebellar disorders, you see an overshoot with a correction. However, the correction is not seen here. 
This demonstrates impaired check reflex, a cerebellar sign. Here you see impaired tandem stance from cerebellar dysfunction. Lastly, we see irregular cadence, a wide base, and veering on his casual gait. Full 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 gait.